morning, Miss Snip, Snip, Snip. But your haircut is as short as mine. This is kind of an extension of your personality, who you are. Yeah, I, I would say so. And how much of Dustin is here in the, in the Belmont? Uh, everything. This whole thing is me. I've poured a lot into it. This is what I've wanted to do for seven years now. So um, if I could go back and do it again and reopen a shop, would I change some stuff? I would change a few things, but that's just how people's aesthetic grows and changes as they get older and develop. I think we all get older and develop and and move forward or backwards. Some people move backwards, I guess. But uh, we all change is, I guess, the point that I'm trying to make. Appointments would require me to answer phones, and I'm not a secretary, I'm a barber. In today's world, it's not easy to do it that way. It's actually frustrating, I think, for my clients. Yeah and sometimes for myself as well, um, but uh, most everybody's understanding and most everybody's good with it, so we keep running it that way, for now. Short hair is what I do well. I try to do quality service. I don't want to produce low quality haircuts, there's lots of low quality haircuts out there. I like what I do and um, I take pride in it, so I take my time and produce good, you know, a high quality end result. 25 people is a lot of hair cutting in a day. Uh, halfway through those days, usually the alcohol starts coming out and, you know, there's pretty girls walking by, sunshine, liquor, lots of liquor. I still cut hair like a motherfucker when I'm drunk, though. All I do is work. I just cut hair. That's all I do. And nothing else. That's what the Belmont means to me. It's, it's like a ball and chain. <laughs> uh, but the but the best kind of ball and chain. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Any other questions? Rap shit. You got your hair good. You got your hair good. You got your hair good.